What more could the federal government do to mitigate the effects of climate disasters? I mean, climate change is like a really hard thing, and I think they're doing the best that they can. I think, I think they're doing the best they can. Um, climate change is all over the place. Obviously, it's snowing a lot more here than it ever has. And it snowed a lot in Vancouver, too. That's where I'm from. Um, yeah, I think they're doing the best they can. I don't think there's much to do when it comes to climate change. There's not much that you can control. There are things the government could do. If they did them, they would probably get voted out. So they can try, but they will fail, which is kind of sad. It would be nice if there was the political will for people, for government to do more. I don't believe that there is climate change. There is climate and it's cyclical. And if you want to take the time and go back historically, these ha this is a part of a natural cycle, a cycle of climate. I don't think they need to do anything. They're not doing enough. I think there's too much talk and not enough action. Personally, I'm in a business that's affected by climate change, tourism, outdoor tourism, ecotourism, fishing, and uh, it relies heavily on us preserving our, our environment. So I think they got to get after it for me and for my kids and my grandkids. I like the idea of the carbon tax, but I don't think it's actually making a difference. Um, uh, in terms of climate, oh, wow, I, I don't know what else. I really don't. It's got to be an international effort. Yeah, it's got to be a worldwide. So continuing yeah. to work with yeah. other countries is the only way, yeah. really. We have to work together. It has to be taken so seriously. It's been too long and nothing done. Um, obviously, everything going on around the world, it's, it's a, a given. It's changing everywhere. They have to put their best foot forward and take care of what needs to be done. Everybody does, not just the government, everybody. I mean, every year it's getting worse and worse with, with the different kinds of storms and the fires that we have. I'm hoping we can do something about it, but I don't know. Learning from other provinces and, and countries and that one is really tough. I never really thought about those things. Right now in these times, it's all COVID, COVID, COVID. I think we should be definitely investing more in uh, kind of clean fuels, uh, moving away ideally from oil. I know that's a hard thing to do. I don't, I don't really know. I think, you know, education is a, a big part of it. But I mean, at the end of the day, if it doesn't come from the people to make those changes, it's not going to make any changes. So where are you shopping and where are you getting your food? Where are you getting your clothes? Are you supporting local? You know, that's the kind of stuff that we as a society need to ask ourselves. I'm not sure. I mean, yes, the government obviously is important. We elected them, but it has to come from us as the people. I think we should go with, with the people who are actually in the field and seeing what is working and do more of it. And I, I think... Um, some more funding uh, for making people's houses, for example, more efficient using less energy, so therefore less has to be made, yada, yada, yada. I think there's a lot of small steps that might make bigger impact than we think over time. I guess do more with uh, the, the, the heating up of, of, of the globe and try and uh, control, control, control that a little bit better than what they've done. We have to start to get less reliable on oil and find another resource. And uh, I mean, there's certainly been an awful lot of disasters this year, which certainly is attributed to the climate change as far as I'm concerned, because I haven't in my lifetime seen things that were so bad with the climate. And to know what to do about it, I guess that they're putting on the carbon tax, but, uh, you know, I don't know if that's enough. I do think that there is more that can be done, but I think it's more to, like, large businesses that are not necessarily thinking about our climate to do some things. Uh, our government has a certain limit of power over those companies, unfortunately. Um, so I don't think it's necessarily the government's fault. I think it's more into looking into those companies and seeing what they can change, uh, what we can change as consumers as well to uh, help climate changes. In my opinion, it starts with us and making the motions, right? I think that creating taxes to try to mitigate people from using things is not the way to go because as you see, the revenues for governments have not gone down because the price of gas has gone up. 
we need gas, we need gas, we need to get around. I feel like just stop funding fossil fueling and start actually putting money where the, where the action should be, like investing in more of a greener economy instead of investing in pipelines and um, just like sponsoring all these projects that would demo cause climate, cr contribute to the climate crisis. Yeah, I completely agree. Plus awareness with everybody because everybody believes a different thing. So if we're all on the same page, we can really start helping the environment. Well, I think the government could probably do quite a bit, but it can do it only in conjunction with other nations as well. It has to be a collective effort, and that's some of the stuff that came out of COP26 in Glasgow. And we've got to stop doing lip service and take action, but collective action.